Good evening, Janet. Hi, teacher. Hi, good evening. How are you? Fine, thank you. Estaba hablando with the teacher. Um, yeah, I was just saying good evening to you. Ah, sorry. Es que estoy, ahorita estoy desde el teléfono y como casi no lo ocupo, ¿verdad? Eso estaba viendo. Ok. Um, I feel great today. And you, how are you today? Well, my day was good. I feel a little tired. I don't know why, because I didn't have much to do today, but still I feel a little tired, I think. So, um, really? Yes, but I'm fine. Yeah, this, this, this is all. Yes, so thanks for asking, Janet. Okay. Good evening, Esmeralda. Good evening, teacher. How's Hello, it going? How are you? I'm fine, and you? And you. Okay. With a sleep, a sleep dorm, con sueño. Sleepy? 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 Sleeping. Okay. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, kind yeah. of tired, right? <laughs> yes. Because I worked all, all day. Oh, you did? Mm -hmm, yes. My okay. job is auditing garment, garments. Se dice prendas. Sí. Um, sorry, what do you mean? Mm, prendas de vestir. Um, that would be clothing or ah. clothes items. Mm -hmm. ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The auditing clothes that go to the USA. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Yes. So I'm just writing the, the words in the chat so you can check them. Yes, yes. So clothes, clothes ropa, clothing, clothing items would be yeah. a, a I, prenda yeah. de vestir, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Thanks. You're welcome. So, Jana, did you work today? Yes, teacher, I work. Okay. Do you work every day? Mm, yes, I... No sé cómo se dice descanso. Rest? Un día de descanso. Eh, my free day. My free... Ah, uh, but okay. My free day is Sunday. Oh, okay. On the sun. Sunday. And oh, your, your free day, it's Saturday and Sunday or only Sunday? Well, normally I only work one Saturday a month. However, with ah, this pandemic yes. and everything, we have been just working the full week from Monday to Friday. So, yeah, I've had a long weekend, right? So I've been... Cool. Yes. Well, yes. Okay. Y res sería como I res all day, por decirlo uh -huh. así. Yes. Res okay. descansar. Uh -huh. Ah. Thank you. Okay, welcome. Good evening, Tamara. Hi, Tamara. So what's the weather like where you are? 
¿Qué tal está el clima por ahí? Has it rained? Ha llovido. Yes. It's been raining. Uh, in Soyapango? Yes. Okay. And in Santa Ana, um, Janet? Not really. Only windy. Okay. It's only windy. Yeah, mm -hmm. here too. But I heard that uh, it was raining in some other places. So, yeah. yeah. The weather is kind of crazy, right? <laughs> <laughs> the weather is very weird because uh, really, uh, no. The, no sé cómo sería cuando cambia como las estaciones del año, o sea, o digamos como cuando se ve oscuro, pero más oscuro. Se ha fijado que ahora está más oscuro más temprano. Yes, um, so the seasons are different, right? And then um, we do not have this, but in some other countries they talk about daylight saving. Eh, no sé si han escuchado de eso de, de Daylight Saving, que es eh, el hecho de, del cambio de, de horario, que es justamente, ajá, es, um, ajá, se debe se a lo que usa Daylight Saving, como la luz a la cuarta. Yes, exactly. Daylight Saving. Es como, es como cuando cambia el, el horario, ¿verdad? Exactamente, cambian el horario, eh, ya sea lo retrasan o lo adelantan dependiendo de el, los horarios en que sale el sol, ¿verdad? Para aprovechar ah. la luz y eso. Really? Yeah, it's very interesting. <laughs> it's good to know. <laughs> yes, right. It's very nice because, um, I mean, now at this time here, for example, Um, sometimes I feel it's really late and it's not, so. Uh -huh. yeah. Yes. So in other places, they change the time in order to avoid that. Yeah. Teacher, ahorita me está pensando ahorita una palabra que, este, bueno, aprovechando que no vamos a clase, ¿verdad? Este, la, nat la naturaleza, ¿cómo se podría decir? Nature. ¿Cómo? Nature. Nature. Ah. Nature. Nature. Ah, nature. Yes. Ok, thank you. Ok, you're welcome. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Carlos. How's it going? Oh, very good. Excellent. And you? I'm doing well, thanks. Okay, teacher. How about work? How was it? Oh, teacher. Um, today no work. Oh, so. you didn't work? Okay, nice. You had some time for resting. Yes, teacher. Okay, that's pretty cool. Okay. So, have you continued working in the platform, guys? Um, no, <laughs> eh, ahora no tuve, realmente no tuve mucho tiempo, como el contaba ayer que iba a tener literalmente hecho pausa de día, y así fue. Oh, ok. But what section are you in, Tamara? ¿En qué sección vamos? Um, comenzando el, el cuarto, el cuatro. Uh -huh. Oh, ok. Sección cuatro. All right, then you're fine. Vamos bien, entonces. Durante esta semana debemos trabajar la sección 4, así que estamos bien. Excellent. How about you, Carlos? Hi, teacher. So, what section are you in, in the platform? Oh, um, yes, 4.4. Um, okay, nice. Very good, okay. you're doing well. And Thanks, you, Janet? Teacher. In 4.4, me too. Great. Okay, excellent. And Esmeralda? In, in section 4.4. Okay, very good. So we all are in section 4. That's nice. 
Yes. Hi, Selena. Good evening. Hi, teacher. How are you? How's it going, yes, Selena? Um, yes, I can hear you. How are you? Oh, really? Okay. So don't worry. Okay. Voy a revisar ahorita. Okay, that's fine. Hi, Gerardo. How are you? I'm fine, teacher. Excellent. How was your day? Great. Okay, I'm glad to hear that. Did you work? No, I study. Oh, you study. Nice. What do you study? Right now, English. All right, that's good. So you have been working in the platform, Gerardo? Yes, I, I finished the study in the university. Okay, that's nice. And actually, um, study English in the platform. Okay, pretty good. So you study English at the university and also in this course. Is that right? In this course. Oh, okay. All right. I study agri-industrial engineer. Oh, that's great. Excellent. Thanks. Okay, so I think we are ready to start now. So let's see. First of all, we are going to check yesterday's uh, sentences. So um, do you remember about them or do you have them there? Let's see, we are going to check. So number one, we said it was, I didn't have breakfast. How about number two, Esmeralda? Do you have it? Yes. Number two, Susan did not buy bread, sweet of the bakery. Okay, um, there the sweet is just the name of the bakery. Okay, so you need to. Find ah, okay, it okay. You put it as Susan did not buy bread at the bakery sweet. Okay. Ah, the bakery sweet. Okay. Yes. Okay, so it's fine. Don't worry. Number three, Carlos. Yes, sure. Um, the student did not ask lot a lot question. Very good. The students did not ask a lot of questions. Yes. Thank you. Next one, Gerardo. Number four. Christian didn't buy new guitar excellent christian didn't buy a new guitar janet can you tell me number five please we didn't did not wash the car on saturday very good thank you selena can you tell me number six, please? Excellent. Fiona did not visit her grandma. Pretty good. Number seven, Tamara. Uh, we didn't know do exam last week. Very good. We did not do an exam last week. And the last one, let's see, Carlos. Do you have Hi. the last one? 
Sorry. Eight. Do you have the last one, number eight, la última? Oh, okay. You uh, didn't read the newspaper yesterday. Very good. You didn't read the newspaper yesterday. Okay, excellent. So now we are going to review what we studied yesterday. Let me just... So we are going to make some examples in the negative. What do we need for the negative? First of all, the simple past in the negative. What do we need? Or what do we use for making sentences? Tell me. We regular verbs. Okay. We have the regular verbs. And then did exactly I use the auxiliary subject. did did not. Yes, I also need a subject. That's the first element, right? The subject, then yes. did not or didn't. Then very in the past and the present. Very in the present the must complement. In the present. Exactly. And after that I add a complement. A complement. Yes. Okay, pretty good. So now we are going to make some more examples by using the popcorn sentences. How's that? Well, yeah. each of you is going to have a chance to say a sentence in the negative. For example, I did not eat beans yesterday. And then you say popcorn and you mention a name of any of your classmates. For example, popcorn Esmeralda. So then Esmeralda is going to say her sentence. Then Esmeralda says popcorn Janet. And then Janet says a sentence. Then she says popcorn in another name, okay? Yes? Okay. Yes. Okay, so let's start. We have, um, I did not study French yesterday. Popcorn Selena. Selena? Can you make a sentence, please, in the negative? Yes, you say a sentence. Okay, don't worry. You say a sentence in the negative using did not or didn't. And then at the end, you say popcorn and you mention, in, uh, you mention a name. Ok, vamos a decir una oración en negativo y luego decimos popcorn y seleccionamos a alguno de los compañeros para que continúe, ok? Ok. All right, go ahead. All right, so I, I didn't watch the very good. Now say popcorn and a name. Okay. okay. I didn't I didn't cook long today. Very good, Esmeralda. Popcorn. Popcorn. Uh, um, Tamara. Uh, I didn't wash the bread. Uh, popcorn. Carlos. Okay. They didn't student the class English. Popcorn. Janet. Okay, just there, Carlos, we say they didn't study English in the class, okay? Okay, in the class. English, English, the class. In the class, very good. In the class, okay, okay. Popcorn? Popcorn, Janet. I didn't run in the park. Popcorn, Gabriela. 
I did not breakfast in the morning. I did not eat. Gabriela? Repeat, please. I did not breakfast in the morning. Okay, there you need the verb eat. Necesitamos agregar el verbo eat. I did not eat breakfast in the morning. I did not eat breakfast in the morning. Very good. Popcorn? Popcorn. Gerardo. I didn't drink soda. Great. Thank you, Gerardo. I think everybody has participated pretty good. So you're doing pretty well with the sentences in the negative. Just remember, we use did not or didn't in the verb, okay? Siempre necesitamos un verbo. It could be eat, go, drink, um, use, walk, run, just whatever action that you want to talk about, but you always need a verb, okay? All right, so now let's talk a little bit about time expressions for the past. Así como teníamos algunas expresiones para utilizar para el futuro con el going to, tenemos algunas para utilizar con el pasado. So here I have some. The first one, it's yesterday, of course, right? Yesterday, ayer. Then we could also say yesterday morning or yesterday yesterday afternoon or yesterday evening. También podemos decir um, ayer por la mañana, ayer por la tarde, ayer por la noche, right? And also, if you were wondering about how, about um, the word anteayer, right? In English, en realidad, no hay una palabra para decir anteayer. Entonces, decimos esta frase, the day before yesterday, el día antes de ayer, right? So that would be anteayer, the day before yesterday. Also, we could say last night, anoche, last night. Oh. We also have last Monday, last Thursday, last Saturday, last Tuesday, and any day of the week. El lunes pasado, el jueves pasado, sábado pasado, es el last, significa pasado, right? Also, we can use it in phrases like last week, last month, or last year. La semana pasada, el año pasado, el mes pasado. And there's also this word ago. And we use it in phrases like one day ago or two days ago, three days ago. Hace un día, hace dos días, hace tres días, 10 days ago, hace diez días, and so on, right? And at last, you can also use a specific time in the past. For example, in 2015, or in 1999, so on. También podemos mencionar una fecha específica, En este caso, un año, pero si quiere igual identificarlo con una fecha completa, that would be perfect too. Okay, any questions about any of the time expressions? I have a question, teacher. Tell me. Um, this ago. Can you repeat that, please? Days ago. ago? Days ago. Ago. Yes, days days ago. ago. Days ago. Yes, days ago. Days ago. Okay. Ese ago lo traduciríamos como hace. For example, when we say eh, two days ago, hace dos días. Hace dos días, ok? Eh, or five days sí. ago, hace cinco días. Days ago. Uh -huh. ¿Y, ¿Y qué va primero, teacher? Days ago, two o three days ago? Three days ago. Oh, acá okay. primero el número, luego days, acá también puede utilizar eh, months, years. Eh, bueno, years casi no se utiliza, pero sí se puede conjugar con los distintos, eh, con los distintos eh, palabras que tengo acá, como week, month. Week, month, year. 
Yes. Eh, otro, And then oh, you need a go. Al final, a go. Ya vamos a ver un par de ejemplos también. Okay. okay. Other. All right. Um, puedo decir, eh, eh, el, el, cuando digo año, el año, eh, puedo decir eh, 2015 o, o, o 2015. 2015 would be better. Sí, lo mejor sería decir 2015 o en todo caso 2015. Ok, teacher. Thanks. Ok, you're welcome. All right, so please everybody repeat. Yesterday. Yesterday. Yesterday morning. Yesterday yes. morning. Yesterday morning. Yesterday afternoon. Yesterday, yesterday afternoon. Yesterday, afternoon. afternoon. yesterday evening. Yesterday, yesterday evening. evening. The day before yesterday. The, the day, day before, before yesterday. 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 Last night. Last night. Last, last night. night. Last Monday. Last, last Monday. Monday. Last Thursday. Last, last Thursday. Last Saturday. Last Saturday. Last, Saturday. last, Saturday. last, Saturday. last week. Last, last week. week. Last week. week. Last month. Last, last month. 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 Last year. Last year. Last, last year. year. Last year. One day ago. One day ago. One day ago. Two days ago. Two days ago. Two days ago. Three days ago. Three days ago. Three days ago. Three days ago. In 2015. In 2015. In 2015. Pretty good. So now we have some examples on how to use the time expressions. Here you have it. I didn't eat pizza yesterday. I didn't eat pizza yesterday. Can you read the next one, please, Esmeralda? My father, my father didn't work yesterday morning. Very good, thanks. Next one, let's see. Gabriela. Bob did not stay home. The day before yesterday. Thank you. Next example, Janet. I didn't. I did not sleep well last night. Very good. Thanks, Tamara. Can you read the next one, please? My sister didn't go out last last Saturday. Thank you. Claudia, can you read the next one? We did know. Good, good, <laughs> the partners weekend. Thanks. And then, um, let's see, Gerardo. I didn't go to the cinema two days ago. Thank you. And the last one, Carlos. I didn't travel in 2005. Okay, thank you. So as you see, we add the time expression at the end. Siempre utilizamos las expresiones de tiempo al final. Acá yesterday, yesterday morning, the day before yesterday. Al final, siempre tenemos sujeto, did not or didn't, the verb in the present, the complement, and then the time expression, okay? Ahí al final vamos a agregar el tiempo o la expresión de tiempo en que hicimos tal acción. Ok. So about today's lesson objective. So by the end of this class you will learn how to ask and answer simple past yes no questions. Additionally, you will practice a conversation which illustrates how the subject is used in a real life setting. So we have already studied the negative. Now we are going to talk a little bit about the yes, no questions. So let's start by taking a look at the simple present. So we have an example here. Do you have a car? Do you have a car? And then 
the possible answers are yes, I do, or no, I don't. Tenemos este ejemplo en el presente en el que utilizamos do o para la tercera persona tenemos das, ¿verdad? Entonces, es similar la forma no. en que utilizamos el pasado. So here I have one in the past. I changed the do for did. Cambio el auxiliar de do a did. And then I say, did you work yesterday? Did you work yesterday? Y si se fija, seguimos la misma estructura. Tenemos el auxiliar, que en el caso del pasado es did. En el presente utilizamos do o does. Y luego el sujeto, you. Then the verb in the present. El verbo que igual mantenemos en el presente. De nuevo, eh, ya no cambio el verbo en la pregunta porque estoy utilizando el auxiliar did, que ya me indica el pasado. And then you have a complement. So it's the same structure. La misma estructura, nada más que cambiamos el auxiliar por did. And then the possible answers could be yes, I did or no, I didn't. De igual forma, en las respuestas, en el presente utilizamos do o don't. En el pasado, did or didn't. So as you see, this is a structure. Did, then the subject, the verb in the present, the complement, and also very important, the question mark, okay? Some examples. Did she come last week? Did she come last week? Or did they travel to Canada last month? Did they travel to Canada last month? Y las respuestas que las vamos diciendo dependiendo del sujeto. Por ejemplo, en este, did she come last week? What could be the answers? Mm -hmm. What could be the yes, answer for she, this? Yes, she did. Yes, yes she did. She or did. No, no, she did not. No, no she, she did, did not. not. Or she no. didn't, right? Yeah. Very good. And the same happens in this case. Did they travel to Canada last month? Yes. Yes, I did. They no, did. I no, yes, I did. Yes, I did. Yes, no, yes they. they. We're no, talking about they. they. Okay. Yes, didn't. they did or they. no, they didn't. No, yes, okay? they did. So, yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Can you make another example? Let's see. Gerardo, do you have one? Make a question, please. Let's see, Gerardo, can you make another example, please? Did you have a good summer? Did you have a good summer? Excellent. Thank you. Another one, Esmeralda. Did, did he go to a school last weekend? Nice. Thank you. Selena, do you have one? Okay, very good. Janet, another one, please. Did she travel the last month? Okay, did she, did she travel last month? Very good. Okay, so that's how we make questions. Now, I want you to answer some of those of these questions that I'm showing you. And I'm going to send you to the breakout rooms to work in pairs or trios so you can answer them. So we have um, 10 questions, I think. You're going to practice asking and answering questions. For example, let's see, Gabriela, did you have a hamburger for dinner?
Yes. Yes, I did, right? Okay, so that's what you have to do. You have to answer yes, I did or no, I didn't. And uh, well, you take turns asking and answering, okay? Any questions? Good. Clear? Yeah. Yes. Okay, pretty yes. good. So let me send you to the breakout rooms and I'm going to send the questions to the WhatsApp group, okay? Okay. All right, so please accept the invitation. Hello. Hello. Jeremy, ya me escucha. Ya. Sí, sí, es que <risa> creo, tengo mala señal, creo yo, de internet. Ah, vaya. Lo veré, si sí, ya me escucha. Vaya. Le voy a, le voy a compartir mi imagen, creo. Mm -hmm. ¿Puede verlo? Sí, sí. Vaya. Si quiere una y una. Vaya, está bien. Vaya. Do you have a hamburger for dinner? No, no, I, I did it. Okay. Did your mom visit it you last weekend? No, she did not visit. Did you travel to New York last year? No, I didn't know. Number one, uh, um, no, no, I, I didn't. No, I didn't. Did your mom visit you last weekend? No, I didn't, no. No, I didn't. In that case, you say, no, she didn't, okay? You're talking about your mom. Oh, yes, 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 teacher. Okay. Sorry. Yeah, it's Thanks. fine, don't worry. Yes, no, she didn't. Did you number travel three. to? Sí, adelante. Oh, number three, Gerardo. Do you travel? On... Do you travel to do to New York last year? Yes, I did. Okay. Um, yo no fui a Nueva York, fui a Austin. <laughs> Pero sí, fui también. You went to the US. That's nice. Yes, teacher. Oh, last year. Okay. November and um, November and and weekend and Thanksgiving. Oh, really? You spent yeah. Thanksgiving there. That's yes. nice. Yes, teacher. Um, 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 visit aunt, um, cousin. That's great. Are you going to go this year? Pardon? Are you going to go there this year or are you going to travel this year? Of the travel. Oh, no, I don't know. I don't know, teacher. Don't know Not yet. Tender. Okay. Oh, que si va a viajar este año. Oh, no, no, no. Este año, no. Maybe not. Okay. No. All right. Okay. Continue Did, with the questions. Okay. Did your brother give you a gift on the last? No, no, I don't. 
<laughs> okay. Get away. Ah, mire. Me está viendo lo que estoy haciendo ahorita. No, I didn't. No, uh, no I didn't. <laughs> I did not. Es como, es como la primera vez que me pongo a usar el, el, el teléfono, ¿verdad? Casi uh -huh. solo uso la computadora, entonces... Qué raro, sienta. Ajá, en el teléfono a veces no se escucha. Ajá, bien raro. Ajá. Uno solo ve que... Ya termina. Hola, um... Luis. Hi, did you finish? Uh, yes. yes. Okay, pretty good. Do you have any questions? Sí, sí. Había una pregunta. Una. Okay, tell me. Dice, did your mom visit you last week? No entendíamos si... Mm, se puede decir nuestra mamá llegaba o, o nosotros llegamos en este caso su mamá la visitó su mamá la visitó la no. semana pasada dice o oh, en let's see it says did your mom visit sí, you last sí, weekend that's week. el su fin de semana pasado yeah. right did your mom entonces la respuesta podría ser yes she did or no she didn't she Okay, I'll put it on your Okay, any other questions? No, you know. Okay, very good. See you in just a minute. No, totally. Gracias. Okay, so we'll get back in just a minute. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. Okay, so welcome back. <clears throat> Let's see, we are going to um, to check some of the answers. So let me ask some people. Let's see, um, Esmeralda, did you have a hamburger for dinner? No, no, I didn't. Okay. Then Carlos, did your mom visit you last weekend? Carlos? Sorry, teacher. Microphone off. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, no, she, she didn't. Okay. Thank you. Number three, Gerardo. Did you travel to New York last year? Yes, I did. All right. Awesome. Number four, Tamara. Did your brother or sister give you a gift on your last birthday? Um, yes, I, they did. Okay. Oh, he did. Uh, okay, so your sister did. Yes, she did. Uh, it's only sister? Uh, yes, he did. But this brother... Uh, yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry. He, he, um, sister here. Um, if you're talking about your sister, you say yes, she did, or no, she didn't. If you're talking about your brother, she, you say yes, he did, me. or no, he me didn't. Con... Okay. No, yo me confundí con el otro con. Con de, el de, ay, con, his or, or her. 
Oh, ok. Sorry. Don't worry, it's fine. Acá es que tenemos las dos opciones, your brother or your sister, porque sé que no todos tenemos hermanos ni todas tenemos hermanas, entonces por eso pusimos ambas. Entonces, dependiendo de si está hablando de uno de sus hermanos, va a ser he. Si está hablando de una hermana, va a ser she, ¿ok? All right, next one. Let's see, Claudia. Did you learn Chinese two years ago? Claudia Gómez? No, I didn't. Ok, thank you. Janet, um, did you celebrate last Christmas? Yes, I did. Um, I celebrate New Year too. Okay, excellent. Let's see who's missing. Esmeralda. Um, did you eat pasta last week? Oh, we're missing the A here. Yes, okay. yes I did. Okay, great. Carlos, did you work yesterday afternoon? Okay. Sorry, microphone. <laughs> okay, don't worry. Yes, I did. Okay, great. Selena, did you drink coffee in the morning? Yes, I did. Very good. And... Gerardo, did you complete any exercises in the platform yesterday? Yes, I did. Okay, great. So do we have any questions about anything of this? Any word or anything? Consultas, dudas? No. Um, sure, I no. have a question. Mm -hmm. um, and, uh, six, um, eh, las respuestas son cortas, ¿verdad? Exactamente. Ok. Eh, sí. sí, de igual forma tenemos la opción de la respuesta larga, que la razón por la que no la he incluido aún es porque no hemos visto el afirmativo, ¿verdad? Pero sí se puede responder, por ejemplo, Did you have a hamburger for dinner? Yes, I had a hamburger for dinner. Mm. Or no, I didn't have a hamburger. Complement, complement, uh, 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 question, complement. Yes. It's a, the answer, answer, uh, yeah, com complete. must complement. Okay. Yes, exactly. You answer with a complete answer, sentence. Answer, answer in small, must complement. Mm -hmm. Exactly. <laughs> Any other questions? No more. Okay, just remember to be careful with the, with the subject. Tengamos mucho cuidado con el sujeto. Dependiendo de quién estemos hablando, de, de quién estamos hablando, va a ser como respondamos. Por ejemplo, varios me preguntaban de la pregunta número dos. Did your mom visit you, right? Está preguntando si su mamá le visitó. Entonces debe responder, yes, she did or no, she didn't. Porque estamos hablando de ella, de su mamá. Okay? All right, so now we're going to do a listening practice. We are going to listen to a conversation and we are going to write down the questions we hear. Vamos a escuchar una conversación y vamos a escribir las preguntas en pasado que escuchemos. So please be ready. Okay, ready? Ready, teacher. Okay. All right, nice. So please write down all the questions you hear. There are like three or four. Did you like it? So, did you go anywhere last summer? Yes, I did. My sister and I went to Arizona. We saw the Grand Canyon. Really? Did you like it? Oh, yes. We loved it. Did you go hiking there? No, we didn't. Actually, we rode horses. And we also went whitewater rafting on the Colorado River. Wow! 
Did you have fun? Yes, we did. We had a great time. Okay, so that was it. Did you get any questions? Yes or no? Did you like it? Do you have fun? Maybe Did you like one? it? Did you have fun? Mm -hmm. How about the others? Did you go anywhere last summer? Very good, Gerardo. And the other? Did, Did you, you go hiking there? Did you go hiking? Okay, sure. Those are the questions we have. Did you go anywhere last summer? Also, did you like it? Then we have, did you go hiking there? And did you have fun? All right. Any questions about any word in the vocabulary, in the conversation? No? Okay, so how about we practice it? Let me just send it to the to the chat and we're going to just practice it a couple of times. Okay, so now you have it in the chat. Please look for it and we are going to practice it. Okay, so do I have any volunteers to read the conversation? That is Claudia and? Hi, teacher. Gerardo, okay. Thank you, so start please, Claudia. So did you go in anywhere last summer? Yes, I did. My sister and I went to Arizona. We saw the Grand Canyon. Really? Did you like it? Oh, yes. We love, love it. Did you go hiking there? No, we didn't. Actually, we rode hours and... What did you head for? Yes, we did. We had a great time. Excellent. Thank you very much, Gerardo and Claudia. Do I have another pair of volunteers? Meet you. Okay, Janet and... Tamara, is that right? Yes. Okay, okay. so start, okay, okay. Tamara. Eh, <laughs> permítame que no, no se quería descargar la imagen. Okay. okay. Eh, so, did you go anywhere last summer? Yes, I did. My sister and I went to Arizona. We saw the Grand Canyon. Really? Do you like it? Do you like it? Oh yes, we love it. Did you go he can head he can there? No, we did not. Actually we rode hard. Um we also went white water rafting of the cholera river. Whoa, do you have fun? Yes, we did. We had a great time. Okay, excellent. Thank you, Tamara and, Ta and Tanya Janet. Okay, so please repeat anywhere. 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 Everybody? Anywhere. 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 Summer. 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 Summer.
went. 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 Go. The go, right? Go. Went. Exactly. Go. Went. 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 Okay. Went. Repeat, please. So. 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 The past so. of what verb? See. See. Exactly. See. So es el pasado see. del verbo see. See. Deber, right? See. Deber. So. Mm -hmm. Okay, now next word, loved. 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 Which is the past of love, right? Love, love. Loved. Okay, and loved. also we have the word hiking. Repeat, please. Hiking. 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 Do you know what hiking, hiking is? How do you mean hiking, teacher? Okay, the meaning of hiking, no, actually hiking is walking. Hiking sería como tomar caminatas. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Cabalgar sería road horses. Mm -hmm. Gerardo. Ah, so close. Okay, repeat please. Didn't. 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 Road. Didn't. Road. Didn't. Road. 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 Okay, that is the past Road. of what verb? Right. Right. Thank you. Road. So we have right road. Right. Road. Okay. Road. Um, also, we have this word rafting. Repeat, please. Rafting. 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 No. no teacher. No teacher. Okay. So what do you mean? It's, yeah, it's a sport that you practice in a river. Es un deporte que hacemos en un en los ríos, por ejemplo, eh, con una no sé cómo llamarla en español, tal vez balsa. En balsa. Okay. Eh, que son normalmente como, como de inflar. Eh, como sí, son como de flotador, algo así. Y balsa. lleva este, ¿cómo se llama? Esas cositas para remar. Como paleta, algo así. Yeah, no sé. something like that. So that Remo. is rafting. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay. Rafting. Eh, que normalmente el rafting es en ríos donde la corriente es un poco fuerte, pues por eso es fuerte. un deporte extremo, right? Uh -huh. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Any other questions about the vocabulary or pronunciation? The pronunciation of right, river, river. River? Colorado River? River. 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 Es River. Río, ¿verdad? River. Mm -hmm. Río. Río Colorado. Yes. Okay. No more questions? No. No. Okay. Mm -hmm. Pretty good. So now let me just tell you almost done. Let me just tell you about the platform. Oh. Did you like it? Mm. Okay. okay, so here, you now you can work, if you have not done the exercise mm. number 4.12, please try to do it. Este ejercicio es práctica de las preguntas que acabamos de ver. Si no lo han hecho, mm -hmm. podrían intentar completarlo. Um, we can do it orally right John? now. You have to unscramble the, the questions. For example, here you have um, have, you, did, summer, a good, and a question mark, right? Then you put it like, did you have a good summer, right? Let's try it with the next one. What would be the did question? You watch did you television did last did night? You did you watch television? Watch television, television last television night. Last night. Last night. Did you watch television last night? Y de Miss, dígame. Yo hice ese ejercicio, pero no me lo acepta. Really? Um, le salen incorrectas. Ajá, me salen incorrectas y ya lo hice así. 
A veces de porque la forma falta el signo de interrogación. Sí, yo Exacto. agrego todo, hasta los espacios por la vez pasada que me pasó lo mismo. Uh -huh. Y no me lo acepta. Uh -huh. Teacher. ¿Lo hizo ayer o ahora? ¿Cloud? Ayer, ayer. Ah, ok. Fíjese que sí, ahora que lo mencionan, nos han informado que estamos teniendo un poquito de problema con la plataforma. Al parecer no está reconociendo algunas de las, de las respuestas. A veces no marca el progreso inmediatamente. Entonces sí, es cuestión meramente de la plataforma. Estamos trabajando para solucionarlo lo más pronto posible. Así que es solamente de que tengamos un poquito de paciencia. Ahí se va a ir solucionando. Y se, si en un par de días no estuviera solucionado, me avisan por favor para que vayamos viendo los casos específicos. Ok. Sí, porque yo ya terminé, pero no me aparece reportado el progreso. Sí, exactamente. Igual ayer tuve yo otro caso en que me decían lo mismo. Habían completado como por decirlo en la tarde y este, revisamos nuevamente en la noche y ya salía. Entonces es solo de esperar ahí un, un momentito y si en caso se tarda mucho, pues me avisan para que consultemos, ¿ok? <risa> okay. Eh, okay. Yo tengo una pregunta. Tell me. Este, me, me mandaron un mensaje eh, y decía de que tenía que mandar otra vez papeles para entrar al, otro, al siguiente módulo. Pero me habían llamado hace bastantito por, para comenzar la, los módulos, para comenzar esto. Y decía de, me dijo de que ya no era necesario ya que estaba, ya estaba registrada yo y, me, y les aparecía a ellos mi información. Fíjese que hasta donde me han dicho, cada, en cada módulo deben inscribirse usando toda la documentación que les piden. Entonces, nuevamente les han enviado el mensaje ahí con los requerimientos de completar todo lo que les piden y devolverlo a enviar. No importa si es Igual. lo mismo de la vez pasada, pero lo vuelven a enviar. Y es importante pero, también ahora que lo menciona, eh, tenemos hasta el 3 de noviembre para enviarlo. Hasta el día Igual, martes. teacher. A mí, ya me, a mí también ya me lo enviaron. Igual consulté y, y es cierto, es para el siguiente módulo ya. Me Exacto. están pidiendo documentación. Sí, así es. Así que envíen los documentos y de igual forma recordar, ¿verdad? Debemos completar el 80% como mínimo en este curso para que podamos estar en el otro, en el que sigue, ¿verdad? Ok, um, just okay, to yeah. end, I wanted to to practice the pronunciation of these two words. We have watched. Watch. 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 Uh, esta sí se le marca un poquitín la T en el medio. Watch. 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 Esta va como wash. 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 Esta SH suena como más continuo, ¿verdad? Wash. 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 En cambio acá lo cortamos. Watch. 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 Okay. All right. Teacher. Okay. Tell me. I have a question. Mm -hmm. um, and in this uh, each section is the ordenar, vea, es de ordenar la oración. Exactly. Okay. That's what you have to do. You Pero have to. No he to ahí. <laughs> okay. Don't worry. No se preocupe. En caso de que ya vayan en la sección 4 y quieran ir completando, pues está este ejercicio que es del tema que vimos ahora. Okay. Porque, eh, como les comentaba ayer, no llevamos en orden eh, del afirmativo, negativo y preguntas, sino que hemos iniciado con negativo, ahora preguntas, y mañana estaríamos viendo el afirmativo, ¿ok? So, just in case you want to complete it, if not, you can just continue as you are doing. Ok, so that will be all for today's class. Thank you very much for your attention. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Bye. Okay, bye. 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 Bye